Morning, it's a Saturday today and it's quite quiet out, so I'm going to go for a walk into town on my own. And in my little man bag, I've got a camera. You might have seen one of these before, it's called a Fuji Instax Mini 10. But for those who have been, it's instant film works the same way as Polaroid does, but produces smaller images. And because it's so bright and sunny out today, have a look at that sun up there. I'm going to go and take some pictures. And being in Newport, I figure I've got two options of the sort of stuff I can take. All around this town is discarded rubbish. Look at this cup. And my other option is the copious amounts of building sites that are everywhere. Here's one for example, just look how beautifully it's been left. And there's some more and more, and that's the one I really like at the end of this path. So, as long as it stays sunny, I'm going to waste 10 pictures, which cost about £3.50 on these things. Uh, taking photos of weird looking building sites in Newport. These cameras are really funny, look, I'll turn it on for comical value. <laughs> it's completely analogue and the viewfinder is awful, have a look. See how tiny that is. So when I take a photo of it, instant film pops out the top just there already. Right, got what I think's a nice composition, but I better move the camera out the way. <laughs> Have a look, it's coming. There's your picture. Just like Polaroid, it takes about a minute to develop. Well, actually, I should say about two minutes. So I'll tell you what, I'll put all ten that I take today up on Flickr to show you. If we have a look over this fence, there's a complete building of one of these building sites. I really like it because it sort of stands there alone. I'm going to set this one to darken because the last one came out a bit bright. Right, that looks nice. There's a seagull on top. Ah. Woohoo! Ah, oh, isn't that nice? See the little building at the bottom? There's no way you're going to be able to see the seagull on that. Do you remember I used to live at Opal, that big building behind me, and I had to cross that muddy path to get to Asda? That's the path there, but next to it is development land that's still not been used yet. And for the year I lived here, I could never work out why you've got all these nice new buildings and all that rubbish just down there never cleaned up. Some of you might remember that when my car got stolen, all the stuff that was inside it was all strewn around here. It was horrible, it was. Uah, look at the size of these toadstools. All it takes is just to employ one person to come and clean it up. Come on. Another masterpiece in the making. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be all dusty after this. It would help if I could get my horizon straight. Let's not forget I'm still pretty hungry. I need food. Ah, uh, this is another nice looking place. Just scaffolding up on a building they're decorating. <laughs> You've got to be careful when you're taking a photo of an insect because it takes a photo a lot larger than the frame through the viewfinder. But then again, if you're into vernacular photography, it's perfect. Up in the high street, we're not going to find any building sites, but there's plenty of derelict buildings. I'd say one in every three shops along this road is closed down. Going to get some food before I take any more photos. On second thoughts, look at the size of the queue for the food. Going to have to try somewhere else, probably Greg's. I was hoping to sit down and eat something. Uh, cheese and onion pasty and cheese and tomato pizza, please. Cheese and onion pasty. That's quite a nice little selection of pictures so far. Bloody hell, this city. It's amazing to think the whole world will be watching this place in one week. See this sign up here, the 2010 Ryder Cup countdown. Five days, 18 hours, 43 minutes, 45 seconds. It's not long away at all. I'm going to walk across to the other side of the river now over there. There's building sites over there too. Doesn't the River Rusk look nice and brown today? Yummy. Colin Montgomery, Tiger Woods, welcome to Newport. There's a kind of photographic exhibition along here, ironically, up on boards which are hiding a building site that's behind. I'm trying to understand what they're all about. They're on a website called ghostsinarmor.com. There's the coloured boards, and just behind them, lovely building site. Oh, I can get in. Isn't that scene just fantastic? Newport. Mm, there's surely some sort of nice juxtaposition I can make with these pallets and that new building in the background. Remember just before I went over to Vegas I came over to watch the jet skiers on the River Rusk. Well over this side there was a fun fair but it's all gone now. Have a look at this strange graffiti in the ground. Nature boy. <laughs> Ah, oh, look, they were so proud to have the Newport Festival, and now it's gone. Look what it's been left like. It all gets forgotten so quickly, doesn't it? 
You've got to be careful when shooting directly into the sun with this little chappy, because rather than exposing it, making it all white, it turns it black, which is quite strange. See, I told you looking through the viewfinder is not that easy to compose. And cool, the sunlight's bright today, isn't it? Luminec. Ah, uh, the remnants of Newport Festival. Uh, uh, not too hard to get out of here. So, I'm going to carry on walking along the riverfront, then loop back round across the Oyster Bridge. I need my sunglasses. This walkway is actually really nice. Now it's been opened up properly, I recommend you come down and try it for yourself when it's sunshine anyway. So you can see just how far I haven't travelled, there's Opal, the site of the third picture. I feel like when I do occasional vlogs like this, in 10 years time you'll look back on them and you'll say, wow, this place has really changed, they've done a good job of it. Because it is changing, that's what building sites are all about. It's just at the moment to see it all strewn across the place is such a shame. I'm not going to take a picture here because it's not a building site, but it's a nice view, isn't it? You know why these rocks are here? It's to stop people chucking cars off the bottom. <laughs> Sunlight. Well, that's Newport for you. This site behind this fence has been available to let for God knows how long. I'd like to meet the person who does eventually rent this. Number seven. If you walk a little bit further south down the river, you get to this little neighbourhood with new flats and stuff. There's loads for sale and loads to let. I wonder if any students live here. And at the end, uh, ha, another building site. Wasn't too hard to get in here either, and I can see a nice little photo. My choice is either the building in this nice yellow chute, or these great coloured skips with the oyster bridge in the background. Oops, got told off for going there. Security guard come and told me to get out. He was kind enough to let me carry on and take a photo though, Ah, I had the camera up to my face, he was like, uh, excuse me, what are you doing? This is like private property. <laughs> the juxtapositions I could create around here are just way too easy. These barrels down here are nice and colourful, they all look good on the film. I think I'll try and get something like that with a pylon in the background. God, my knees aren't what they used to be. Beware, Riverbank. Are you kidding me? You should all know by now, I hate idiot-proof signs. Uh, considering that's the first one of these signs I've seen, and we've got the Oyster Bridge in the background, I can't not take a photo of this. I'm going to need flash on it, though. The thing is, I don't think the flash is working on this properly, and I'm shooting into direct sunlight, so I'm probably going to ruin this photo, but I'm going to take it anyway. Damn it, I'm pretty sure that didn't flash. Aha, the sign came out though, it was light enough, not all's lost. Those of you keeping camp will know that was the last one, the film's empty now. These are what the cartridges in the back look like, pretty cool, huh? I shall wander back home now, I'm nearly hungry again. <laughs> Pick a building site, any building site, Wee. I wonder if Beverly's missed me while I've been cavorting around in dump sites and building grounds. That was incredibly surreal, she just texted me as I said that. I'm just walking back over the bridge babe, I'll be home soon. And the most famous building site that I talk about is where the pikeys are living at the moment, my side of the bridge. Look at them. It's a little traveller village there at the moment. There's about 20 caravans. I wonder if my little poppet's going to be glad to see me. Hello. Hello. Glad to see me. Yeah. <laughs> it's another lovely day today. I might go for a bound around on my power risers. Has anyone been out and bought themselves a pair yet after seeing them on here? Can you do me a favour, can you film me from up there? Drop it then. I can't drop it. Drop it. It's filming. Drop it. <laughs> These things are so much fun, I wish I had a pair when I was young. They make me so tall I can even see over the fence opposite our house, look at it. 
which, surprise, surprise, is a building plot. Bloody good exercise, these things. They work on your balance. Bev's watching me from up there, making me perform like a monkey. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. I think that'll do. That's my 20 minute exercise for the week. Gonna take one more trip out today while the sun's set to get me some food, then I'll finish up the vlog. Isn't that a really nice shadow on that wall? Ah, oh, sorry. You don't want to see me buying bread and cheese and stuff. I'm gonna finish up the video here. That's a lovely scene. It's day 264 or 365. Today I wandered around Newport taking photos with my Fuji Instax camera. Good fun, isn't it? You should get one. Look on eBay, you find one for about 20 quid and stuff. It's really quite pleasant out today. There's no wind, there's clear blue skies. And the sun's just about to set. So thanks for watching. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye!